Yeah, it was a, you know, one of those games where Chris, you know, gets hit a little bit, but keeps us in the game. You know, where it's not major damage, it's one run at a time there, and it, which we hang around. And then, uh, you know, obviously the guys out of the bullpen did a nice job to keep it there and give us a chance. We, you know, we started to scratch back, uh, and like you said, we we had a few chances uh, with guys out there and just weren't able to get that big hit. Don, on the play with Stanton, you know, what did you see there? Obviously, he made a great effort, and him, you know, the, the glove going over the fence. What are your what are your thoughts on that? I, I don't know really what to think about it other than he obviously he's trying to make a catch. And, I, I you know, I didn't see a replay. So, look, I didn't know it went over the fence at all because the ball didn't go over the fence. I don't know how – I didn't know how the glove got over the fence. Uh, but, obviously, was, you know, like you said, he made a you know huge effort to try to get there and make that play and just, you know, just uh, a little bit short. Uh, the choice of O'Grady, not so late last night, so we didn't get to talk to you about that. Just kind of what went into that call and, and just overall how you thought he – well, as we looked at, you know, as we talked last night, we had two guys ready. We knew the two guys that were ready. Uh, and then when we decided what we were going to do on, uh, what's today, Sunday? What we're going to do Tuesday, we just want to split the two lefties up. Um, and we didn't want to go O'Grady uh, and, and the lefty that we're bringing. And just how he thought he did overall in his second start? So. Okay. I think both games, you know, he's not a guy that's going to overpower. He's going to have to hit, hit spots and change locations. Uh, but he hung in there, and, and uh, again, he, he gives up a home run the first, uh, and a couple of single single runs later, as he, as he you know through five innings, uh, he gives us a chance, you know, to stay there, get to our bullpen. Um, if we're able to score anything those first first five, it's still a you know he's right in, he's right in the middle of it. Don, going back to the outfield play, with the play with Marcel in left field, was the difference in that just that he had more time to get back to the fence and jump over? Or does he have a certain knack for making? No, I think they're two different. I mean, they're, you know, G's play is on the run, totally uh, trying to get there and and with the wall. It's a different wall. Uh, you don't have the chain link where you can jump up on that pad. Uh, and O's ball probably had a little more height where you have a little more time to get there and have a better opportunity to go there and kind of make that grab. I thought the one it was similar to the one that he made early in the year. He got up on the fence and made one earlier, but that one did. He just kind of misplayed a little bit from the standpoint it wasn't going to go over. Uh, but that one obviously was a really nice play. And also going, looking ahead a little bit for this, the Phillies coming into town, um, you know, coming off this, you know, playing such a tough team. What are your thoughts on that series coming up? We just got to get ready. Uh, obviously, the, this day game comes quick. Um, we just got to rebound and, and get going. You know, we were playing pretty well going into the break. Uh, we ran into a little bit of a buzzsaw here. Um, you know, obviously had a chance to win that first one, uh, and we're in this one. The second game was a little different, uh, but we've just got to move on, you know, and 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 get to the next series. At this point, you know, we'll have a little bit of a rest in between, you know, a little bit the rest of the day and tomorrow. So uh, we'll just be ready to play. Do you have your starter set for Tuesday? Yeah. We do. Can you say, or does it involve him? Uh, no, it's dead, it doesn't involve him. It's going to be Conley. Conley. Yeah. So that's where we, we want to split those two guys up. And he's okay, right? I mean, he looked okay when he came off as a pinch hitter, but he, you know, he left early yesterday. Yeah, yeah, he had a little neck, uh, just like a little spasm in his shoulder. I don't know if he slept wrong or anything else. When he was taking BP uh, yesterday, he, he told me he was having trouble getting his head turned around. And as the game went on, you could see it got a little worse. Uh, it was one of those things they were able to get a little treatment last night, got some treatment you know, today. Uh, obviously, he's feeling better. I expect him to be back out there tomorrow. With Conley, obviously, he was coming in as potentially the starter going into the season, and he's been down there all this time. Like, What have you seen the last few outings out of him and where you felt it's, it's been back and forth, and um, you know, the last one was good. He was the guy the development felt like was throwing the ball best. That's kind of the same situation that Chris was in when they called him up. He was throwing the ball best out of the guys that are down there right now. Um, so obviously he's been here. Um, it gives him another opportunity to come and show us what he can do.